फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो इन प्रोसेस डैशबोर्ड ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन द फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोस ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस बॉक्सेस एंड दिस डेटा पॉइंट्स व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड विद द डेटा सीट 1 डेटा 1 एंड दिस कॉलम स्पार्क लाइंस व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड विद दिस डेटा and we also have created this drop down box which is com uh, combo box and this is connected with this list and the output of that combo box is this and here we have put a index function to get what has been selected in the combo box for example if i will select calls then here the value uh, will be 1 and the Um, combo box value which is calls will be here okay if i will select conversion then conversion will be here okay friends and we also have created these two option buttons so if i will select first option button then one will be here it has been connected with m1 range if i will select second then m2 here okay Now in this video we will learn how to create this uh, pie chart and this graph okay so let's start first of all we will create this pie chart to creating this pie chart i'll go to the data 1 first of all i will create uh, quarter uh, wise data because this is the quarterly graph so i'll go to the data 1 and here I will select this data and I will paste it here. Now we will put this quarter one data because here is you will see there are some formulas already available there. This is not formula calls. This is not formula revenue is not formula, but conversion is a formula which is number of sales divided by number of calls so we can use that formula to get the conversion est is not formula and tst which is total handle time is formula but we will not use this formula here revenue per sale is formula which means revenue divided by sales now to get the calls we will use sum if function here sum if then the range so range will be quarters we'll select this one press f4 to freeze that comma criteria criteria will be the quarter now i will put a dollar sign before l so i will freeze the column only not rows and then the sum range so sum range for calls it will be this t now i'll put the dollar sign before the uh 2 so that row will be freezed press enter but here we will change the quarter 1 then quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 should be like that now we can copy this formula and paste it here so if you will see this is the sum of calls this is the sum of sales this is the sum of revenue now we'll copy this formula and paste on tst so if you will see the range is correct okay we can fill it down so this is the sum of total handle time now we'll get the est the conversion is already calculated because the formula was available already there same for revenue per sale Now AST will be total handle time divided by number of calls. That will be average handle time per call. So just fill it down. Change the format. This is in seconds. So we can take the format from for revenue. Sorry. 
so we will change the format of revenue we will take this one so go to the home select format painter and just click here okay now friends we will create a dynamic chart for quarters so to create the dynamic chart we have to create a dynamic range so what i will do i'll put quarters list here and here i'll put the metric for quarter So my quarter uh, list we will create a name to creating a name first of all we need a range okay we'll create the range first in text format i'll tell you how let's say this is the range for quarter right so i'll remove the equal to from here now this is the range for quarter same range we have to create metric for quarter metric for quarter means whatever matrix has been selected here let's say calls has been selected here then the range should be c11 to c14 when the next matrix let's say revenue is selected then revenue o11 to o14 so dynamically this matrix should be changed so I'll tell you how we will get this so we will use so first of all I will use match function here match then the lookup value is this this is what which has been selected in uh, drop down box which we have already discussed now I will select the uh, lookup array lookup array will this in this range we have to search comma zero break it close enter so that means revenue is on column number 15 if you will see the column we'll put column formula for here sorry column then you will get 15 here right so now we will use address function here address then we have to give the row number so row number is for the first row of this quarter list is row number 11 you can see here also row number 11 then the column number so column number will be this whatever has been selected column will be changed dynamically enter this is the first cell of that range that means revenue has been selected it is o 11 now we will use and sign and put colon in inverted comma to create the range and again we'll use address function and the row number this time will be the last row last row will be 14 comma column number will be this enter you can see a range has been created o11 to o14 right so we will use data one only here data in inverted comma which is the seat name data one exclamatory sign and now this is the range with the seat name like that okay friends if you want to remove the dollar sign however it doesn't makes any difference you can remove the dollar sign from here in the address formula put comma and you can take this one for relative enter so dollar from the first address function has been removed and you can put four here also so we have got the dynamic range if i will change calls now here then the calls is on m column so you will see m11 to m14 if i will select let's say est est is on q column then you can see q11 to q14 okay friends that's how we will create the dynamic range so friends in uh, this dashboard i have already created few names that's why you will see uh, the name in go to the formula in name manager already so now what i will do here i'll put one in 
every name so i'll put one here quarter one quarter one means doesn't mean uh, this is for the quarter one this is the next dashboard we have already created the dashboard in the same sheet that's why uh, the name is already available so i want to differentiate from that range i'm metric for quarter one i'm putting here now i'll select this i'll go to the formula name manager and i'll create new so if you will see quarter is already available here that's why i created quarter one now i will use indirect here indirect indirect function equal to indirect then i'll take this range for quarter one okay close now i'll select this one i'll go to the formula and name manager new name indirect then i'll select this range for metric for quarter one so we have created both the name we can see go to the formula sorry and name manager quarter one we just have created and metric for quarter one now we will create a dashboard here the pie uh, chart basically and we will uh, use these name in that graph and we will learn this in the next part of this video so please watch the next part of this video to learn how to create this beautiful pie chart and how it is connected with this top down box okay friends thank you so much for the watching